Hi, I'm Hester Mathis, Senior Associate Rector of Church of the Holy Communion in Memphis, Tennessee. Just before we all started hunkering down at home, I was able to spend a wonderful day at the Georgia O'Keeffe Museum in Santa Fe, New Mexico. You might recall that Georgia O'Keeffe is known for her painting of cow skulls and bones in the desert, maybe flowers up close, or even seashells like this one here. O'Keeffe helps us to see nature in new ways and from new perspectives. In fact, as you enter the museum, they give you a small viewfinder and challenge you to center in, focus in on one very small part of the scene in front of you. It was in this museum that I came across some of the writings of Georgia O'Keeffe during World War II. And she reflects that when she started painting bones, she said, I was most interested in the holes in the bones, what I saw through them, particularly the blue from holding them up in the sun against the sky as one is apt to do when one seems to have more sky than earth in one's world. They were most wonderful against the blue, that blue that will always be there as it is now and after all man's destruction is finished. Randall Griffin, an art history professor, reflected later that O'Keeffe transmuted bones into numinous portals linking earth and heaven. I love that thought, linking earth and heaven is a numinous portal. That's what we're called to do as the body of Christ in this Easter season, to look past the death and to see the larger picture of God's eternal kingdom and to perhaps center in on the scene in front of us and see where God's heaven is linking to us here on earth. Happy Easter, everyone.